Look at this thing. This thing is like crazy. Carving an excavator. Excavator. Hey, dirt, see you later. If you have a kid who's under the age of four and no blippy, you'll know that. Song. Wow. Woo! Lunch is on. What's up, everybody? I'm back. My name's Ryan Cook. This is Ryan Cook Carves on YouTube page. And I am back at Saw Valley headquarters here in beautiful Squamish, BC. And it is going to be 30 degrees today, so I think. So, get to the point. We are doing an excavator this week, and personally, we've not done one. I haven't done one ever before. Have a beautiful cedar log. It is awesome. And if you're wondering what happened here, sharpening my chain, make sure you wear a glove because it'll rip your finger right apart. Um, so yeah, that's a trick tip right now, right off the hop. Wear gloves when you're sharpening and we will be doing a sharpening video soon. I suck at sharpening, but that's because it's gonna take a lifetime. This is gonna be the log. I want this piece to be moving. Like the excavator is digging away at the log, has a little pile, excavator's here. The logo's gonna be down here. And I want it to be different layers. You know, higher up in the back, like he's kind of wrapped around a mountain, working in a mountain, digging, like making a scene, which is something we haven't done. And also carving straight lines because excavators are straight lines. And that is one of the most challenging things. Like for instance, if you are carving a bear, you can carve a bear quite easily because as long as it's got a snout and a, 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 you know, a head and some ears and big furry thing, everybody's gonna see that it's a bear, you know? But when you're doing straight lines, it's hard. Or even carving a circle. Like I always say, people ask, what's the hardest thing to carve? Carving a perfect circle. To me, that would be super hard because if it's off by a hair, it's out. And this will be similar, except we're gonna have fun, we're gonna freestyle, and uh, just go with the flow. So, I'm gonna get a design up here, I'm gonna rip a, uh, rip a slab off here, straighten it out, because I, I want to take just a, just a little bit off the sapwood. It's a really cool cedar. I picked it because it's got this flare and I can make it so like the, uh, the arm is coming out. And then we'll do the logo. Logo will be writing, you know, using saber tooth burrs bits. We'll be using a lot of the same tools we always use, but we are going to get it done. So let's get this going. We're chitter chatter, pitter patter. Let's go. Okay, so CS620. Uh, 20 inch cannon super bar, 3 8 chain, time to rip a slab. I'm just taking away the sapwood so I can draw out what I'm looking to put on this log. <laughs> Oh, coming down to the river. It's so hot out right now. Ah, oh, this river, this is the Chikai River. Look at it, so beautiful. There are some salmon swimming up here, so I had a couple casts, but haven't, haven't, uh, haven't caught nothing. It's so cold. I gotta get so wet right now and just, just enjoy this. I gotta put my thing around my wrist just in case this thing floats away. And uh, I'm gonna go for it and you guys are coming with. Oh, this is gonna be cold. That makes you feel alive. My God. That makes you feel alive. You never know what you're gonna see at the Sea to Sky Ranch. Check this thing out. I, th I saw this thing trending on YouTube. 
a couple we uh a week ago. Look at this thing. This thing is like crazy. This is a uh a walking bionic machine, man. This is like uh avatar stuff right here. Check that shit out. That's crazy. That's nuts. I uh I saw this actually trending on TikTok a couple days ago and it's actually at the shop. That's crazy. Super cool. Hopefully I get to see it run. So I'm back at the shop right now. Saw Valley headquarters. Phew. And uh, I am on the final stages of putting out this fire. <laughs> oh shit, get out. There you go. So I now have to finish this thing off. There's a lot of little details that go into these excavators. Excavators are straight lines, you know, bears, animals, eagles. You can be free as an artist to choose what you want to do. It's like when you carve a human, you carve human form, if the human form is off, you can tell, you know, like if a head is, if the eyes are up here and the nose is down here and the mouth is short, if proportions are off, it's wrong. And that goes for the same with carving excavators. That goes for the same with carving circles, squares, human form, because we know as humans exactly what we look like. And we know what a straight line looks like. We know what a circle looks like. And this is a lot of straight lines and, uh, you know, different shapes. So it's definitely challenging right now. I'm going to really kind of focus on detailing and in detailing, I'm going to just emphasize the lines run a line down here because there's a, a hydraulic, a hydraulic thing. I don't know the term. So, you know, you got to excuse me on that. But I'm and then I'm going to paint it black and I'm going to punch out these lines with yellow and it's going to be very dramatic. You know, you're going to really kind of sell this carving by contrast and in contrast and detail and the overall finish. I mean, clean lines, clean detail for this, for the logo will make it work. And then the rest will come into play as long as the detail is good. The lines are great. I love this. This looks cool. It's probably different in real life, but it looks cool. I just something about it. So moving on.
So that's it. I've kind of got this thing finished, done. You know, when you're doing this kind of style of carving, you're able to use contrast. Green, black, yellow, red, silver, pop, 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 pop. But this was a great opportunity to really emphasize colors to create depth. You know, these are really close together, but there is a separation that you're able to kind of factor in. I got to do a couple touch-ups here with the excavating sign. But all in all, this thing turned out really cool. 3D piece. You know, I really like the uh, the rock base. Keeps it simple, makes it tall enough to where it punches. And this is my first one. So, you know, I don't know if I'm going to sell another one, but I literally got had a buddy who runs an excavating company just walk in here right before I started filming. And he loved it. <laughs> He's like, can I take it home? I said, yeah, yeah, no, but you can order another one. So when you're doing detail, you got to factor in your time, your budgeting and how you can make it really strong, like really, really enjoyable to look at, but also make sure you're staying in within your budget. If you're doing that, you know, maybe you're just beginning and that's how you have to do it. I remember when I first started carving, I would do a bear that was like what I could do in 20 minutes nowadays. And I'd spend two days on it and I would sit on it for two weeks, three weeks, a month until it actually sold. But that's how I was learning. That's the way you do it. But when you start to have a full time gig and you're doing this full time and you need to make bang, not bang for your buck, but you need to be effective with your time and the how you budget your time management. These are great ways to to do that. So hopefully that kind of made sense. I'll have to watch it back in the edit and see if I actually keep this. But for me, that is kind of how I do things. Like, I think that this stands out, you know, it's powerful. It's got the red, the silver, the white, the black, the yellow, the green, and it's got a punch to it. And, and there's parts where it's not as crazy detailed or it's not perfect or it's not that, but there's clean lines, there's effective contrast, and bang for your buck. You know what I'm saying? So if you get what I'm saying, definitely give it a like and come back next time when I do my next video. I got a lot of cool stuff coming out and uh, this is it. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. My name is Ryan Cook. Be safe, keep your chains tight, your chains sharp, and we'll see you again next time. Yeah!